The Bible is the world's most popular book. You may already have a copy in your home. Its wisdom can help you and your family to enjoy life now and gain a real hope for the future. Jehovah's Witnesses offer a home Bible study program that is designed to help you get the most out of your own Bible. You will not be taught religious traditions, only what the Bible teaches. The Bible study is free, and there is no charge for the Bible or Bible study publication you will use. You choose when, where, and how often you would like to study. You will consider Bible subjects by topic. A study session may be as short as 10 minutes or up to an hour or more. Regardless of where or when you choose to study, you are not obligated to become one of Jehovah's Witnesses. There are no tests or exams, and you can learn at your own pace. A variety of study guides are available, and you can choose the one that suits you best. You'll have the opportunity to read and research the material before you discuss it with one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Study sessions can be held at your home, over the phone, or via computer. You'll learn how to apply the Bible's wisdom so that you can enjoy life to the full. Did anybody ever just wake up one day and say they wanted to be one of Jehovah's Witnesses? Not very likely. None of us actually did. Recent weeks I've been telling a lot of people about the organization and the crimes within and the whole kit and caboodle about it and they ask, how did you get looped up in it to begin with? The same way we all did when coming in from the outside. It wasn't that we went in to it to become one of Jehovah's Witnesses. For the most part, we started with the ever-famous free home Bible study. See, I had done a video on this about three years ago, but a lot of you may not have seen it, so there's a lot of things I won't have a problem with rehashing. I had been studying the Bible on my own for some time, and I remembered that Jehovah's Witnesses had talked about they gave a free home Bible study. So I made contact with them. As far as it being free, not quite. There's a lot of things that go along with it. Either one of two things. There's no gray matter with this. Either you will progress or they will cast you off pretty quickly. The one thing is, it's not exactly a Bible study. Little by little by little, you're being indoctrinated. If you are considering starting a study with them, or if you've already started the study, here are some of the things to look out for. The first thing that they will do, now if you have your own Bible, whatever that may be, the first thing will, they will do is the bait and switch. They will talk you into the New World Translation. It's more readable, it's more up to date. And you will switch. I thoroughly believe that until 2013 when the Silver Shank was introduced and I realized what a piece of garbage that was. <coughs> now as the study progresses, there'll be a lot of conversation. Basically they're not interested in you as a person, but what they are doing is getting little tidbits of information. What makes you tick? What you like? What your hobbies are? What you do? As time goes on, anything you say will be held against you and it will be used against you. The next thing they will start to do is little by little, once they know what makes you tick, once they know what you are good at, once they know what your hobbies are and what you like, they will little by little start shooting it down. This tactic, what they are trying to do is take down your self-esteem, make you feel horrible about yourself. They basically, in a nice sort of way, will basically be putting you down. They'll make comments like, uh, you're basically a baby on the bottle, you're drinking milk, you don't give a baby steak, insinuating that you're not mature enough to hear the meat and potatoes of the organization. Here's the, here's the thing, 
you're all studying the same thing. However, they don't tell you everything. Much like the Masonic organization they are, you learn a little bit more as you go on, but they don't tell you everything. The thing is, we all say one thing. There is no way I'm ever going to somebody's door with a Bible. We all say it. We end up doing it. Now the thing is, as far as this being just a Bible study, you are being coerced into becoming, going to the meetings first of all, then becoming an unbaptized publisher, then progress to baptism. This may not be what you originally intended, but it will happen. It's so progressive that you won't even see it coming. In all honesty, guys, by the time you find out what's going on, it's already too late. You're already baptized. They basically now have you prisoner. This is when you find out just how limited your life is. One thing that they are notorious for doing is spying on you. Some are not so obvious about it. My Bible instructor was notorious for it. See, he didn't realize where I was living. I had been living there for 16 years. And my neighbors caught him sneaking around my house on more than one occasion. He flat out denied it, but I knew my neighbors very well. Then they will ask questions about any family members you may have, who's your friends are, where you go. And little by little they will try and get you to cut ties with your family if they're non-believers. And they're not going to be, or any friends that you may have. The reason being so that if there's a problem and you leave the organization, you basically will have nowhere to go. See, the one problem is with Watchtower and Jehovah's Witnesses, their indoctrination, their indoctrination process is quite homogenized. There is a... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm drawing a blank on it right now. They don't curtail to the individual. See, they assume that everybody will fall for the same tactics. The bait is pretty much easy. They know how to lure people in. But once you're in, <clears throat> you'll either fall for it, walk away, or eventually we'll say, this is a bunch of BS, and walk away. See, unfortunately, I was in for a few years before I got the whole kit and caboodle. I knew very little about the organization. I knew very little about what went on behind the scenes, but once I was locked in, I was locked in and I started waking up to what was going on. But the Bible study itself is not a Bible study. It's basically it's a bait and a lure and a trap. And once this Bible study is finished, you are already baptized. My advice to you is walk away. The organization is a complete lie. They've got too many crimes to cover up. As a matter of fact, as time goes on, more and more information is coming out about it. And you know, the thing is, I was very computer illiterate when I went into the organization. So most of what I found out, I found out midway. I taught myself computers pretty quickly when I had to. But now the information's out there. Most of you are probably very handy with computers. Younger people, it's second nature with them. But do your research and find out what you're getting into. Any organization that has to dominate everything you do, control your life, not just inside the, the Kingdom Hall, but in your own home as well, that's a cult. Any organization that will have to run everybody's family off and claim that we are your family when really they're not. There's a lot as far as the Kingdom Hall, which I'm not going to go into tonight. I'll go, I'll touch on that on my next video. But this is not a Bible study. Looking back on it, I was doing pretty well studying on my own. I did not need Watchtower policies. I didn't need Watchtower literature. I did not need Jehovah's Witnesses. Because the thing is, as time went on, my spirituality, what spirituality I had, got very automated. It became too by the book. And it pretty much killed it. So if you are study if you are a Bible reader, continue studying on your own. You don't need other people to show you 
what's what. If you're serious about studying the Bible, you find out what's what on your own. You don't need Watchtower, you don't need Jehovah's Witnesses. Anyways, guys, I know I haven't been around very much of late, and I kind of took a few months off. Been a rough few months, but I will be back. And you guys have a good day. I will talk to you soon.